All right, the social media gift exchange. Good idea, bad idea. Well, we'll tell you here in a moment. All right, now that the moment's gone, we've all heard Secret Santa around the office where you're trading gifts and you're just having a grand old time because you get to find out what what other people like around the office, what other people don't like. And it seems to be a great idea for for others. But what about online? Why are most people you know, saying stay away from it? Well, because you're having to give out your personal information. So how the scam works is a friend or colleague or someone that you know online sends you this great invitation through social media stating that, hey, uh, we were we would love to invite you to the social media gift exchange. It's for a good cause or for a donation or, you know, whatever the lie may be. And so you go to the website and you fill out your name, your phone number, and personal information that could set you up for identity theft. Now I got your attention. So, so then they'll, so you put out your personal information of what you like and what you don't like. And, then the scammer has enough to work on to start start molding its emails to stuff that you like and hopes that you would click on a certain link that will send you off to a fake website or a clone website to get more information, aka your financials. So like I said, these personal inf- you know, exchanges, these online exchanges are a very bad idea. Because you're, you're trusting people that you don't know with your personal information. And of course, they're also known as pyramid schemes. Well, how so? Well, some of these, you know, gift exchanges are otherwise known as, you know, pay it forward. Is, you know, you, you give someone who invited you to the online exchange a gift. And in hopes that you get other people on your social media site to send you a gift well free gifts it's great however though if no one stops supporting the social media pyramid scheme the pyramid scheme seems to die down also if you're a u.s or canadian resident it's also very legal to do so you could go to jail get fined or or be be marked on your credit it it has happened so from all of us here at Texas Integrated Services, we, wish, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and don't fall for these scams because you're giving away personal information that you don't know to others that could set you up for something bad.